Good morning and welcome back to Suburban Home Center, Wyoming, Arizona and Merry Christmas. Today I'm making um, some little pocket holders that you can put money, candy, um, a gift card in. You can hang them on the tree. You can just give them in a card. I just love making them. So you can see all the different um, Christmas papers that I have and this is some vellum. And I have to say that probably vellum is my favorite to do this project with. My good friend Lynn last year sent me one and I figured out how to make them and I have just loved them since. And sometimes vellum is divided into four sections on your, your page. And I want all of these six inches by six inches. And so these are all 12 by 12, so it works perfect. And I'm just cutting them apart so that I can show you how I fold them. But the nice thing about vellum is that you see, see through. So when you're folding it, you get multi layers of design on there. And I think that's probably one of the reasons I really like it. Plus that it, it looks very wintry and snowy to me. And then I picked out three sheets of just holiday paper. Now some holiday paper that you get will have designs on both sides. This doesn't happen to have it. And I have some stickers that I am going to use. And I'll talk about if you don't have stickers, what you can do also. And so let's Let's make one. So you want to make sure that your paper is up, not the wrong side up. The right side is up and then you're going to fold it corner to corner. And it's real important that your edges are sharp and you can use that. Maybe you use a pencil, use your finger, use a paper bone, whatever you want to do. And I'm going to take one of those corners and I'm going to take it down, but not all the way to the edge. And then I'm going to make sure that seam that bend over part is really sharp and then I'm going to take the corner and I'm going to bring it over so it matches the edge see how I'm scraping my finger on there so it just is really a sharp edge and then I'm going to take that over too and so we have made the pocket area so that we can put stuff in so then I'm going to fold that down now you could glue these parts right here and you could use other papers to put on there. But I have some stickers and I have some glittery ones, ones that are kind of comical. And some, they're sweaters, they're mittens, there's trees, all kinds of things. So I'm going to just pull that sticker off. And then see how, because I didn't make that point go all the way down, it can really adhere everything together. Now, if you're going to um, seal it, the, another option for you is wax. Like I have some Christmas um, that one says Noel, one is a poinsettia. And so what you do is you're going to light your wax. This is the kind of wax that you would use on an envelope when you're doing a seal on there. And so we're just going to let that wax drip on there. I made the speed a little bit faster and then I'm going to press it. Now that I did a little crooked, so I'm lighting it again. I'm going to put some more wax on there. One of the benefits of wax. And then I'm going to take my paper punch. And I am just going to make a little hole on that top so I can hang it on the tree. And this is just so exciting for kids to find where their envelope is and what prize they got. You could do um, 12 days of Christmas. You could do 24, like an advent color. And each day they get a piece of candy that's hanging on the tree. And so I'm just going to show it one more time. Now see, you have to make sure that the wax goes right over top of that corner. That's the key to hold everything down. And then you just stamp it. That's one of my poinsettias. And I'm gonna do a poinsettia in gold also. So here is that one. I'm doing that other poinsettia. I do believe I like the gold better than the red, just because the red's a little translucent. And it, so it's just really a matter of opinion doesn't take long and you just press it out and then you can see that poinsettia right there. So I just really like the look of the vellum and then the wax. Totally okay to do stickers though. And so let's do some regular paper. Now like I said before you can have paper, Christmas paper that has designs on both sides. I just didn't happen to have any here at um, down in Arizona. And then I'm going to take a sticker. And see how you can just make sure that it's touching everything. And then we got the hole in there so we can hang it on the tree. But here is my whole pile. It took me like 15 minutes to do all these. And 
that's a great way to put in a, a, a Christmas card or a birthday card and you can slip some money in there or a little gift, a check, a gift card. And then for me, I'm hanging them on the tree. But I hope you just take this idea and it's a great way if you have unexpected guests too that you can have something with a $5 coffee card in there, something that you can give them. But I just love the vellum. And the fun little stickers are just so playful. So here's just all of them that I did. And I just really think it's very festive and a fun, easy way to do some Christmas gifts. So this is Sandy at Suburban Home Center, Wyoming, Arizona. And I hope you have a fabulous Christmas. And I'll see you next time.